Hey Like to Eaters, welcome back to Dan Likes to Eat on YouTube. Today we are in Santa Marta, Colombia, Santa Marta, Colombia, and I want to talk to you about the restaurants here, the street food here, and a couple tours that you can take to enhance your food experience in Santa Marta, Colombia. Okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> and by the way, I'm not getting paid to share any of this information with you. It's just cool stuff that I did and I want you to know about so you can have an awesome vacation. Okay. Okay, come on, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like my videos. But don't if you don't. Okay, I'm eating my first ceviche, my Car Caribbean ceviche. They serve it with crackers. Check that out. Um, it has octopus, pulpo, and camarones, shrimp, and some other kind of white fish that I didn't understand. Maybe sea bass? It, um, so anyway, it's pretty tasty. got a buñuelo from a little panaderia, from a little bakery. I've got a cafe con leche. It was 2,000 pesos, 50 cents. I'm gonna bite into this. I don't know what's in it. I think it's just cheese. Mmm. It's like a cheesy donut. Okay, the other half of my breakfast includes an empanada de pollo, a chicken empanada. Chicken empanada? Come on. So this is a papa rellena. It's a filled potato. I bought it from a lady on the street. I hope I don't die. So it's filled with mostly potato and some chicken. Some pollo, pollo. It's very tasty, very tasty. Like, why are we not making these? If I die from the food that I ate, I have decided it was the right way for me to go out. Um, but so far I feel great. The little stand on the beach is doing good in the stomach so far. <laughs> hey, good morning people. Good morning like to eaters. Today I'm going on a tour of a coffee factory, or a coffee farm. I think I'm gonna swim in a sacred waterfall and some cool stuff like that. So anyway, let's go. We just stopped at this little shop. I don't even know what you call it. A little bakery, a little panaderia on the side of the road. I got a cheese finger, a dedito de queso. And they're fried dough rolled around cheese. Mmm, a beautiful little snack for our walk. 
into the jungle. Okay, I'm up here in the Sierra Nevada mountains in this cute little coffee shop where they like have their own beans that are grown here in these mountains, the Sierra Nevada mountains. And we're doing a little tutorial on how they do the coffee and the best way to brew it. Um, sorry about the lighting. There we go, much better. Um, we're doing a little tutorial on how they brew the coffee and how they make it to get the best flavors and like the right amount of acidity. When you have the um, a higher temperature of water, it makes the coffee more acidic, so it's gonna be have that like pingy, more like sour flavor. So you want your water to be below the boiling temperature when you pour it into the into the grounds. Anyway, I'm obsessed with this. I love it, and I'm practicing my Spanish. Practicando mi español. See, everything's going really well. Okay, so I just have to set the scene for you. So we're up here in the mountains, in the jungle mountains. We walked, I don't know, a half an hour from this little town in the mountains called Minka. We're here at a family-owned um, coffee farm. They're up here, um, and uh, they're gonna brew us a fresh, a fresh batch of espresso in these little Italian espresso pots. We've got the cups, and it's just us, just me and my tour guide, Christina and Mambo, our dog, just hanging out up here in the mountains of Colombia. And, and there's a waterfall right over here. You can hear it. You can't see it from where we are, but you can hear it. It's like, what is this? How is this real life? This is panela. It's made from sugar cane and it's boiled and it's like a, almost like a honey. They're describing like a, it's syrupy. I'm gonna try it my first time. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. It's like different than brown sugar. It's different than honey. How, how do you even describe that? Other than so delicious. Super rico. The most red? Yeah, the most red is being like this kind, like this. And pick it? Yeah, pick a coffee. We're gonna do our own little process of producing our own coffee. Perfect. Over here. Talk to yours there. So this machine separates the outer shell of the coffee bean from the inside. It's gonna spit the coffee bean in here and the shell back here. So I just put some beans in there. There they are. They spit them out. They're like little green. Ooh. Check that out. Wow. Can you eat it? Probably not. Not, not yet. It smells like fruit in here. So what it is, it's fermenting right now. Oh, mm -hmm. the coffee's fermenting. Yes. So, what happens then? We're gonna grab a cup of just... This one was dried with the red skin on. Oh, okay. Just for demonstration. This one in the middle is the one that we just freshly separated from the outer skin. Mm -hmm. We're gonna let this one here to dry with the rest. So you can grab one and then you can peel it off. And now this is our actual final coffee bean. The final bean. Raw, okay. Mm -hmm. They're just kind of a brown. Yeah, so the coffee that you just drank and the one that you just bought, it was roasted in this pot. Oh my God. So we're doing this coffee tour on this coffee farm. I just drank some coffee that was literally roasted in this pot over this fire right here check this out it's a wood burning fire i am just in awe
It's pouring rain. So with my lunch, I'm having tamarind juice. So refreshing. I'm sitting here at a little artisanal um, chocolate, artisanal chocolate joint. They make their own chocolates in here. They have chocolate bars. I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna buy some. And we're sipping some hot chocolate. So I'm supposed to crumble it into the hot chocolate and then it makes it like creamy and then scoop it out with a spoon. I gotta try this. Mmm. Okay, sweet and salty, here we go. Where are you going with that? Oh. This is my chocolate, get away.